Hi, my name is Natalie Abreu, and I'm a junior at the University of Southern California studying computer science. My research focuses on multi-agent pathfinding, which is the problem of multiple agents finding non-conflicting paths to their respective destinations. Multi-agent pathfinding is widely used to coordinate real-world robotic systems, such as in warehouse environments. However, multi-agent pathfinding is NP-hard, so recent work has turned to deep learning techniques to reduce the amount of time spent on these hard planning problems. Recent learning-based approaches often use reinforcement learning, which requires a very computationally expensive training process. In my research project, we use a supervised learning approach that reduces training time to create an efficient learning-based solver. We use a data set of optimal multi-agent pathfinding solutions gathered in a related project to train our model. We formatted the data set such that each data point corresponds to the decision or the move made by a single agent at a single time step. An agent is allowed to move up, down, left, or right. Our features included a local range of vision for the agent, including obstacles, other nearby agents, and a unit vector toward the given agent's goal position. This gave us four, over 400,000 data points for training. We used a convolutional neural network and experimented with the architecture size. We wanted to see if a larger model size made significant improvements in performance compared to more lightweight models. We ranged the number of both convolutional and linear layers, as well as the size of the layers. To evaluate our models, we looked at both training accuracy and success rate on real instances. For success rate, we tested the model on a sequence of 100 instances. We found that larger models generally improved the training accuracy, but success rate in solving real instances was similar across model sizes. Therefore, using a more lightweight model may be appropriate for a supervised learning approach. Over all of our models, we found the training time took at most a couple of hours before converging, offering a great improvement to training times of recent reinforcement learning approaches. We have multiple avenues of future work to consider. First, we are interested in incorporating reinforcement learning with our supervised learning approach to explore the benefits of RL training with the cost savings from our approach. Further, we are interested in extending our model to work in more realistic warehouse environments, such as environments in which agents are continually assigned tasks. Thank you.